Hello and welcome to the Circuit of the Americas. Today I am your host, NDS Man TV, and I will be going through the Dell Gaming DLC for Forza 7. As per usual, there are seven special vehicles that they added into this game, and seven new vehicles, and no additional vehicles this time around. I think you'll actually like this DLC. If you've been thinking the previous ones were more disappointing, you'll think this one's probably the best one to buy if you're just buying individual content updates. This first vehicle is an Aston Martin race car, as you can see here. It's actually a new vehicle. It's, it is the, a new Aston Martin race car. It's not like an old one re-added into the game or anything. Yeah. Yeah, to prove it again, yeah, this is a V12 Vantage, not a DME9. Anyway, let's see how this thing performs on Circuit of the Americas. Let's be honest, this thing is actually a little slidey, but I'm assuming this is a trait that is commonly associated with race cars, like the one you'll be seeing next, which is an Audi TT, which I will show you right now. Unless there's something before it, no Audi is right next to it, right here. Right here, it has a lot of Audi, no, it doesn't have a lot of Audi related material here, it's, there's Aero and Gearit, and I'm pretty sure the driver is Roland Pritzker, looks like, and fade out so I can see what's in here. Vacation for DTT, let's see how well it performs though. Oh, there's another driver. 
uh, because it's an endurance sorcerer. Fan looks like it is excessively shaking a little bit. Oh, so apparently it only makes like 300 horsepower. About 380. That probably explains why it handles a lot better than its than the the other one I just played around with, the Aston Martin. But I think there's one reason why anyone with a brain wants to try this DLC. So let me load this up. That is right. This is a Bugatti Chiron. The, the little definition of a modern supercar. With literally over 1400 horsepower, which means it's more than the twin mill from Forza Horizon 3. It's also more than the Koenigsegg 1 to 1. This is insane. In a safe zone. We landed in a safe zone with the Chiron. This thing is is legal and it's really really fast. Just look at this acceleration. I need to slow down. This is the top speed testing area. Not really. 
I have to really slow down with this. But I did really good for a first real run with this. Oh my god, yeah. Don't be a first gear with this. Fair warning, if you don't have traction control on, don't be in a first gear all the time. I have to really take this into consideration, really. Gonna shoot this bullet again. And about 150 miles an hour, this thing attracts. Yeah, 1400 horsepower. Unless you know what you're doing, definitely homologate this. Next up, I'm gonna do some scrolling. Just to find the next vehicle. But let me look this up real quickly. No, oh, I've done this one before. Nope. This may take a minute. Oh, it's in Dodge. Okay, it's the Durango SRT. Huh? A lot of people were questioning whether this would be in the game or not. Yes, this new Durango SRT model is in the game. It's not a Hellcat, but it's the Durango SRT. Definitely a modern Dodge interior. It's a giant boat, so you kind of expect handling to be more like a giant boat with these things. And so are lap times, unless you properly modify it. Yeah, there's no horn.
Oh, near three minute lap time with this thing. I'm gonna revo- No, I'm not just gonna do that because that'd make no sense. But, you know, I'm gonna see how much horsepower this does. Oh. Uh, there's an issue with the freaking revving in this car. Wait, maybe I'm- Maybe I'm changing gears suddenly. Oh, that's it. That's what it is. I think the next car we're going to be looking at is Holden, because, well, it's been a while since we talked about Australian vehicles, but hey, it's time. It's better time than ever to look into the Australian vehicle market, so let's look at the and a very old Holden Monaro, but with, well before a certain Holden Monaro appeared in Forza, I guess. This is an older GTS model. I'm gonna open up the telemetry here. Oh my god, I almost forgot to that corner because I was staring at the left side of my screen. I'm going back to simplistic view on this user interface. This thing wasn't designed to be fast, but it looks like. And no one knows why it has a miles per hour area rather than kilometers. Just look at this. Although it was an Australian car, it has the miles per hour as if it were an American muscle car. That's really weird. Oh, let's start outsourcing from America at that time. And since Holden was GM, I mean, I don't see how that would not be possible. Maybe I can see a little better. About 250 horsepower, maybe? Yeah, I think I'm done with this Holden. Next car will probably be Kia, the Kia Stinger, because, well... It's a vehicle that everyone wants to see. It's very similar to everything else in this list. We've talked about this before. We've seen this before. No. 
This is the Kia Stinger GT, I'm assuming. But I'm assuming, I have no clue, so. Bear with me, let me see what this looks like here. Yeah, the, it is definitely a Kia Stinger GT and not just some dirt standard one. Not just some bone standard shtick. It, it's clear that they were trying, even though they didn't name it correctly. It's right. You can even open the rear doors and the floors of Vista, so at least that happened. And yes, every single quirk and feature that has been mentioned before is the same. Good job, guys. You did yourself some good with this car. Approve, approve, I approve of the attention to detail, but this isn't the attention to detail live stream. This is the I drive things for the heck of it live stream. And since this is the case, I have to click on the one button that matters to most people. Is not a dystopia, is it? Is this the first racing game with a fully modeled Kia Stinger? I would be quite curious to know that. I'm pretty sure the Chiron has appeared in other games, but I'm not sure about the Stinger. There's this Kia Stinger, and let's see how much power this thing makes, just for the lulls. And like 200 something, probably 300. If I check, probably get a more accurate reading of this car's readings. 365, so I was off, unfortunately. I was off by a good amount, but here's the next 
part of this issue. I'm assuming the next car is the Ram Charger, so let's see. Have I kind of... Assuming that's right. Let's waste a bit of time here. There is no Porsche, no new Porsche models in this update, from what I can speak of. So, the last vehicle I'm going to actually cover is this Ram. Sure, we've had this thing in the game for a while, but now you get a four-year upgraded version that looks like an actual Ram! With 410 horsepower. This old Ram has 546, for comparison's sake. I'm assuming it probably won't be that powerful, despite the amount of power it actually does have, but in terms of, I'm talking about in terms of acceleration and top speed, not in terms of horsepower, of course. Because I actually have another idea of the Chiron I want to showcase later on. Look at this, acceleration is poor. This is a ram. Okay, look, actually, I see these corners as if they were nothing. Every other car would slide. So I guess the power wagon is something in its favor. If the logic repeats itself, maybe this could be a leaderboard car if, with the right hands? And again, it's a ram. Some of the distortion on that audio. It's not me causing it, by the way. I did not change any audio settings. I'm going to shift down a little bit just to get more speed here. Power wagon. Uh, what a really weird car. I thought it would be worse. I'm sure, it's making a near, making a three-minute lap time, but it's the slowest thing here. I'm assuming. Oh, it's probably quicker than Monaro with the proper upgrades. I don't know. It only has 400 horsepower at its disposal. Look at this thing, it's... I'll probably get a bad reputation in with the community, but who cares, it's a decent truck. And you actually managed to get all four of the wheels hot enough to cause a power slide, which you cannot sustain yourself in. But I actually have a better idea as to what we can do with this Chiron. 
they're claiming that it should be faster than the Veyron, so, uh, let's see if we can prove or deny it. I, uh, I almost forgot that there was a starting grid tab, but I guess I'll have to look at it once I get out of the menu here to select the Chiron again. I know I'm going back to the Chiron, but I wanted to test something here. This is in stock, by the way. And yeah, so you apparently get the freaking starting grid even if you're the only person in the freaking race. How silly is this? But I'm going to go to a track that we all know can be a well-known race track for it. Doing your things. Your, your top speed testing. And... Well, no, we don't want freaking upgrades. We want to be able to use the car as it is. And so we're going to have to load into the track because I think the Chiron had a worse time with COTA, but I think maybe it would do a better time here. So let's test this theory. I'm not going to do a full lap, I'm just going to test something. And yes, this is something I never really do. I never really change circuits because, well, it takes forever to load. Here's, yeah, the reason why I never changed tr tracks during my live streams for Forza 7 specifically is because I, can't, I hate having to change the track just to get to where I need to be. This is the most specific location. I chose because, well, here you go, it's Lasarf, and, well, you can do everything at Lasarf. I'm gonna do a test drive, I always do the test drive mode so I can do more laps if time requires it, but I'm only here to do one thing, so let's see how well this does. This will be useful for Horizon 4, by the way, so if you're paying, you've been paying attention up to this point, you, you probably know what cars to expect for the next Horizon game, no matter where it gets set, so... Yeah, be prepared to see the Chiron in this game. Okay, so we're about to go into the um, street. Let's see what we can do. And this is just a stock Chiron, so if you think you're doing this in the homologated one, if, I, if you think I'm doing this in the homologated Chiron, nope, and it's the real deal. And if I crash this, it's my fault because I'm trying to test something that no one's tested before. Yeah, we've already hit original Veyron and ultimate aerial territory. Let's see how. Oh, well, now we're coasting. Now we're smoking. Not, not coasting, smoking. Oh, we've, we've hit 267. I don't want to hit the wall. Okay, I'm gonna go backwards now. Because I was one of the tests going forwards and backwards.
Oh, we're 268 now. I see how it is. 269. Oh my god, we made 269. Oh. I think we have a clear winner here. 269 miles an hour stock. But maybe, just maybe we can get a definite answer using tune setup. 2.4 seconds for 0 to 60 of 4.9 seconds for 0 to 100. Top speed is obviously 269 miles an hour, so I'm going to go stir into this these gearing things here. Let's see. I mean, I could screw with these all I wanted if I really wanted to, but I'm not. I just wanted to see what's going on here. It looks pretty straightforward. I'm not going to lie. This looks pretty pretty nice. Promising. Very promising. And yeah, this is what I just did. I managed to crash here. And I think all the crash did to the car was add a but no, wait, hang on, what did it do? It looks like it did literally nothing to the car. In fact, if I let this actually finish out, I could probably let the Yeah. Doesn't really look like the car damaged itself, it probably just looks like a bunch of scrapes entered the car. No, I think that's what happened here. It's nothing special. But if you're into supercars and you really like top speeds, I guess this has to be the one car that you'd buy. And now I'm going to go check and see if there's any options that they've added besides seeing your freaking starting lineup in the free play lobby. It's as silly as it sounds. Of course, the new marketplace area for it. Which I already purchased, which I've already downloaded into my console, so I don't have to deal with, any, with it anymore. Let's see if they've added the Groove Music streaming option here. Voice over, nope, 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 nope. They have not added any new audio options. What about HUD options? I don't think they've added anything special here anyway. No. Nope. Nope. I've not seen anything new besides the new cars. And for those who are wondering what the Ford Xbox One X version of the F-150 looks like, if my game will let me freaking load the car. Load load have i soft locked the game have i soft locked the game it I, I swear i think i did something wrong okay to prove to you that i'm i'm pretty sure this is soft locked i'm not just messing with you here's the sound of my joystick yeah i'm not I'm not kidding. I think I just soft locked it. Anything I do well, won't happen anymore. I'm, I'm basically stuck here, so. So much for that. Anyway, for those who are wondering, the top speed of a Bugatti Chiron is 269 miles an hour in stock form. I just checked. I do hope you guys have a good rest of your days and. Remember to stay safe on the internet <laughs> and while you're playing games, otherwise your game will be soft-locked like this forever.